Hey everybody, it's Andy from EX2 Adventures. Thank you again for participating in this year's Backyard Burr Virtual Challenge. We're in the second day of the challenge and we're off to an amazing start. We have almost 900 participants from around the country and together we've logged over 4,100 miles already, in just two days. Tonight I wanna to show you uh, the run sign up platform. I wanna run through with you how to log an activity, how to edit that activity if you happen to make a mistake. I want to show you how to get to the results and talk a little bit about how I'm going to calculate some of the results manually as well as have some of them automatically updated on Run Sign Up. Uh, I'll show you how to load photos uh, into the Run Sign Up platform. And that's it. So let's get started. So I'm going to share my screen with you and we're going to go look at Run Sign Up. So you I, all have all seen this before. A um, couple of things I want to point out in the menu. And just so you know, the menu might look a little bit differently if you're on your mobile device but all the content is the same. First thing I wanna point out to you is the facts. So this little facts section, I will keep it updated as I get new questions. Um, in fact, I'm gonna add a couple of things as soon as I'm done recording uh, this call. Um, there's also information about, you know, reminders on how to log your miles, uh, the conversion chart. If you don't have a way to track your distance, um, I created this little conversion thing. So 20 minutes of walking equals one mile, et cetera. Um, all, every time I send an email to you of like sub substance, I'm gonna load it into run sign up as well. And this will just be like a long running page. So if you're not getting the emails or you miss one or whatever, uh, you can always come to this page and, and catch up. Uh, and there's also information on here about our corporate partner program, which was new this year. And we're very grateful for our corporate partners that, have, uh, that are participating in the challenge. Uh, they've certainly um, amplified our our support to home stretch, which was one of the primary goals of this program. And so uh, thank you very much to all the corporate partners that are involved. We're very grateful. All right, so um, let's talk about how to add an activity. And so many of you have already done this. I think we had like a six, 600 out of almost 900 people have already logged an activity. So most of you have figured it out, um, but I'm gonna go through it and just give you a couple of hints um, to do maybe some things that you weren't uh, aware that you could do. So. To add an activity into run sign up, easiest way. Um, if you're on the main page, just go to results. And by the way, I am not logged in. So I am not logged into run sign up right now. Click on results. There's a button right at the top. And again, if you're on your mobile device, you're going to see this button as well. And it's going to say submit virtual results. So you click submit virtual results. It's going to ask you, like, who do you want to submit the results for? So I'm going to type in myself and look up registration and it's gonna find me. And then you see this little button right here, right next to the event that says log activities. So I click log activities and I can verify either my email address or the last four digits of my uh, phone number. So I'm gonna do it by my phone number. And I'm now I'm into the input screen. So uh, what you first have to do is select the type of activity that you did. So I'm gonna put in the two activities that I did uh, today. So the first one I had was a bike ride. So I'm gonna select ride. The date I'm not gonna change, but you can change this. If you're like, you know, catching up, adding activities, you can put dates uh, in January that are previous. Uh, the distance of my ride was 15.22 miles. Uh, elevation gain was 1,047 feet. And my time was one hour and nine minutes and 34 seconds. All right, now the other things, comments. So I asked you guys in the, the emails I sent out to record whether you, this activity was inside or outside. So it's inside, you don't have to do anything, but outside, what I want you to do is just type in the word outside. The reason why I'm having you do that is I'm actually gonna have some special prizes for only outside miles. And unless you tell me it was outside, I'm not gonna know. So please just take the extra second, write the word outside in there uh, and you're good to go. The other thing that I, um, Going to have you use the comment box for is adding uh, push ups. So, one of the other sort of fun things we're doing in addition to riding and running and walking is uh, like a little push up contest. And so, the idea here is that just do as many or as few push ups as you want. Um, I did 100 push ups today, not all at the same time. Uh, I actually did four sets of 25 throughout the day. So, what I'm going to do is just going to put in 100 push ups. Oops. Push ups. There you go. And again, I'm going to look at all this data and pull out the push-up numbers, and then I'll, I'll aggregate those uh, separately. So that's all there is to adding activity. 
so that what activity was, the date, the distance, uh, and then optionally elevation and the time. And then please put do a comment if it's outside. And then if you did push-ups, you can put in push-ups. Uh, I did another activity. Uh, I went on a one mile run with my daughter tonight. So uh, I just clicked the add new uh, another activity button. And this one is a, was a run. It was still today, January 2nd. The distance was 1.01, got to have that extra hundreds of mile. And it took us uh, 11 minutes and 24 seconds. Elevation gain was a whopping 57 feet and it was outside. And I'm also gonna write here, um, evening run with Emily, who's my daughter. Um, and I'll show you how you might wanna use these comments that you're writing sort of to yourself uh, in just a second. So that's all there is to it. And so you put submit activity and it says, hey, it's submitted. One thing to note, um, it does take a minute or so for the aggregated results in run sign up to update both your results and on the team side. So if you don't see something right away, just hang on a sec. Uh, one thing I wanna point out to you, uh, I did add little badges that you're gonna earn as you go through and uh, um, accumulate miles. So you can see that I have a badge here for, hey, I reached 25 miles and I've reached 31 miles. All right, uh, let's see. So what if I make a mistake? Um, you can edit these activities really anytime you want. So I'm gonna do it back from this screen because this is something that we're, you're, you're gonna see a lot. If you scroll down from this add an activity um, little section, you're gonna see a couple of things. One of which is um, all your previous activities are gonna be listed here. And then right next to that, you see a button that says manage activities. If I click manage activities, it's basically gonna list all my activities Show me what they are, so you can see the date, the distance, the type of activity, and then my comment. Um, say you forget to write like outside, or you forget to do something. Um, to edit an activity, just click the little edit button next to that activity, and just go um, and add whatever change you have to make. Um, and that's it. So that's how you edit an activity. You can do that at any time. All right. Let's see, uh, back to results. All right, so next thing I wanna show you. Um, so I, this is my individual results and I might as well show you this one here. Uh, this will kind of keep track of sort of how you're doing throughout the month. Um, it has your overall tally, the amount of time that's your total like time you've been working out. And then you can see all my activities uh, down here. That's it. I also have pictures, I'm gonna show you pictures in a second. All right, next thing I wanna show you, if you're back on the log activity screen, um, there is a way you can change your personal goal uh, in terms of distance to the month. So I set everybody's personal goal by default to be 31 miles, because that was sort of the thing. 31 miles, 31 activities, like get outside every day. That was sort of like the heart of the challenge. But I know that some people might say, hey, I wanna run 50 miles this month, or I want to run 100 miles, or I want to have like a total mileage of whatever. Uh, you can set that yourself. And so if you hit the little edit personal goals button, uh, you can change it to whatever you want it to be. And so by default, again, everybody is set to 31 miles. I changed mine to 350. I'm going to try to cycle a lot this month. And so that's my, that's why mine's um, um, higher. I can't, no way I can run 300 miles a month. Um, but anyway, so you can set that if you want to anything you want. If you don't, it's just gonna stay at the default 31 miles. All right, so I showed you how to add an activity. I showed you how to edit the activity. Let's talk to you about the personal goals. All right, let's look at like results for a second. So if you go back to the main challenge website, click on results, there's, um, two main sections here. Uh, the first one is individual results. So that's what's showing you now. Um, and these are um, by default gonna be sorted by total distance from greatest down to smallest, okay? Uh, by that's the default sort. If you want to resort things, you can see these little sort icons here. So if you are curious, like who had the most running miles, you can click the little sort. And you might have to click it twice. Yeah, there you go. And so it'll resort it by who has the highest in that particular type of activity. So you can do that. Uh, let's see. All right. 
team results. So the way team results work is it's gonna, uh, it aggregates everybody who's on a team. So again, teams can have up to 10 people and it'll tell you their total miles and then the total elevation gain and then the total like time that people are, are doing those activities. Um, if you're curious, like, well, who's on those teams, what have you, you can click on the team name and it'll bring you down into some details. So uh, it'll show you the, any photos that those team members have uploaded for that team. It also tells you the individual team members, their miles, their elevation gain and their uh, time. And then if you click on somebody, we'll click on Steve. Um, it'll show you Steve's data. Um, so there's lots of things you could do with this. If you're curious, like, hey, how, how is that person running like a thousand miles? How are they doing it? You can go in and look and look at their activities and see how much they're running every day. It's all there. It's pretty cool. Uh, so these results are updated pretty much in real time. So when somebody adds in an activity and the miles are calculated like within a minute or so. Now the things that are, are calculated automatically. So obviously the system isn't like looking in the comment to say like who, which activities are outside versus they don't have that outside indicator. I'm gonna do that manually. And so I'm gonna send out an email every single Friday of the challenge with an updated set of results. Some of the results will be from run sign up directly. Some of them, I actually download the data and do some calculations myself. One of which is the, how many activities are outside and the aggregate uh, data around that. And the second thing is uh, push-ups. So the system doesn't have a way to um, aggregate push-ups. Um, and by the way, the reason I didn't just add like another type of activity is it would actually add that to your overall, overall total. And like, in the summer, the last time we had one of these virtual challenges, we had people doing literally thousands of push-ups, And so I didn't want to add like a thousands of numbers into your distance total. So that's why I have it in the comment. Anyway, so lots of cool data to check out. Individual results, team results, that's that. All right, uh, photos. So I have a, I've gotten a couple of questions about photos and there's really, there's probably three different places where I would love it if you add photos because um, I've been kind of, I was just looking at the EX2 Racers uh, and Volunteers Facebook page, which I'll give a little plug for that right now, right before um, the call. And it's a great way to feel connected to each other. Uh, like I, I love seeing people's pictures. Um, there's been pictures of, from people like up in New England where it's like snow on the ground and we're like, oh my God, it's amazing. Um, and it's just great because you get to connect uh, names with faces, which I think is really important. So if you're up for it, uh, post a picture or two, it'd be awesome. Uh, so that's the one place to post pictures. The second thing, place is just like generally on social media. If you're gonna, you know, if you're a person that posts stuff on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, or whatever, go for it. I would love you if you post a picture. Um, there's a couple of things you could do to help uh, other people know that you're doing it to sort of follow along. One is use the hashtag, which is Backyard Burr. Burr has three R's. Uh, and you can tag EX2 Adventures. That way um, I'll see it and I can be like, hey, great job. Uh, all this is optional, of course, but um, it's a great way to, again, to, to feel connected to each other. All right, the third way to do pictures is actually uploading them into Run Sign Up itself. So, Here's the hitch with doing pictures in Run Sign Up. You have to be logged in. So if you click on photos and <clears throat> click here and you're not gonna see any upload button and you'd be like, well, what am I doing wrong? Um, so the first thing you do is sign in. So I'm gonna go in and sign in. And you'll notice that instantly sort of you have more options. And so when you log in, the system knows it's you. So it knows it's me in this case. And you see uh, all your pictures that you voted. So click on Andy Bacon and you're gonna see an upload images button. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I can upload images from my computer. You can also upload them from your phone. And it's actually like really super easy to upload them from your phone, but you have to be logged in. So once you log in, on run sign up from your, from your mobile device, uh, you can say upload photos It open, it can uh, access your camera roll and just post a picture. So. That's three ways to do pictures. Racers and volunteers Facebook page, run sign up itself, and just general social media. Now, one thing I want to show you, I'll give a plug for adding in pictures to run sign up. 
as well as comments and stuff like that. At the end of the month, um, you're gonna have a set of data for yourself. And it's kind of cool to see what you've accomplished in the month. So um, I'll go back to, let's see, results, um, spin browser results. Let me just find me again. Actually, uh, I'll do it this way. So I'll search for bacon and here's me. So I'll click on that. It's gonna again, pull up my, my summary. Uh, it also shows you again, all your activities. So at the end of the month, I'm gonna have 30 or 40 or 50 or 60, however many activities I do. And they're all gonna be listed here. So I can look at this and be like, wow, this is really cool. Uh, and I'm also gonna load a picture every single day. So at the end of this, I'll have 31 pictures sort of tracking my progress over the month. So that's just kind of a cool thing if you want to do that. All right, I think that's all I want to show you. Um, if you have any questions, um, please feel free to send me an email. Uh, I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. You can also post on the EX2 Racers and Volunteers page. Maybe somebody else knows the answer to the question or you can check the facts. Um, last thing I want to do before we go is give a huge thank you to everybody who made a donation to Homestretch. So Homestretch is an absolutely amazing organization based in Falls Church, Virginia. We have blown away our fundraising, uh, our previous fundraising um, accomplishment for this event last year. I think last year we raised about $13,000. This year we've, we've closed, raised almost uh, $23,000. And uh, what EX2 does is instead of having like a, a set like dollar amount or whatever given per registration to Homestretch, um, we add 10% to everyone's donation before it goes to Homestretch. So if you add in 10% to 22,800, we've already raised over $25,000 for Homestretch, um, which is incredibly meaningful. Um, I know the people at Homestretch are, 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 are very grateful for all the support that we give them. Um, it's a wonderful organization. So thank you to everyone who made a donation. It really does make a difference. Um, in the people's lives who are who are participating in the home stretch program um, and tons of kids um, so just know you you're you're doing good and so i'm very grateful and thank you for for supporting home stretch all right i think we're good get out there get outside if you're in the dc area snow tonight and snow tomorrow the pictures should be awesome please be careful if you're running you're riding or anything outside tomorrow um, go sledding um, have a great time. And uh, again, we're very grateful you're participating. Uh, we're going to have a ton of fun and uh, have an awesome week and uh, happy new year. All right, we'll see you.